Yeah. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So sorry, I'm still vlogging on the iPhone 10. I'm gonna switch back to my GoPro or my Sony soon. It's just been, with how busy I am, it's been a lot easier just with using the phone so I can get you guys the content you want. It's just not as good a quality, but I'll get back to that, don't worry. So yes, we're actually driving the Hellcat pretty crazy. Um, everything's on, it doesn't seem like the wheels are hitting any of the conversion kit, so I think we're good. Um, I do need to bleed the brakes one more time. The pedal feels a little soft. Um, obviously the car brakes on time and it brakes correctly. Just the pedal still feels just a little soft. So I do need to um, bleed the brakes one last time and then I think we should be good. But um, the reason we are in the Hellcat is because we are headed over to our buddy Jacob's house. Um, Jacob works at a body shop and he does a lot of stuff on the side. So he's painted Kevin's calipers pink. He's done Kevin's wheels. He's done a bunch of our friends' brakes. Uh, so he's done a lot of side work for us. And uh, it always, always comes out good. Let's roll these windows up so you can actually hear me. And turn this AC on. Maybe turn the cooled seats on also. The perks of having a Hellcat. Um, so I've been contemplating painting my brakes for a while. Um, I'm finally gonna go through with it. That's what this video is about. I wanted to do purple. Um, but then Kennedy made a good point. She's like, well, what if you take the wrap off? That's a lot of purple. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Um, and then I was getting to thinking, I had my Evo, when I had my Evo 8, I had all the Brembo's powder coated black because the Brembo's actually had a clear coat problem and uh, the Brembo's never looked good on the Evo that I had. So I sent them off, got them rebuilt and powder coated black and I just really liked the way that a nice gloss black brake caliper looks. So. That's what I'm gonna be doing on the Hellcat. I'm, I'm giving you the color away, I'm giving you the color. But, so we're dropping it off right now. He's gonna paint the front ones black. I already have the Willwoods and they're black in the back, so I think it'll look really good. Plus, I think if my car, if I take the wrap off and I go back to the purple, I think it'll look really good with the black brakes. I think the purple on purple is a little too much. Um, Paul from Family Cruising, he has the purple calipers and his car's also plum crazy purple. And it looks really good. But I think for my setup, it's a little too much purple. So I'm gonna go more like the stealth look. And uh, what kind of confirmed my reasoning for doing the black Brembo's was there's a Go Mango Orange Hellcat charger at Texas Dodge right now for sale. And it has black Brembo's. And man, it looks so good and clean. And uh, it just has like that stealth look to it. And I think the red just pops way too much for my car, especially um, with the wheels I have. They're very open in the front and uh, especially with the color of car I have under the wrap. So I think the black's gonna look really good. So we are dropping my car off at Jacob's. Um, things to do, I still need to bleed the brakes on this car. The pedal's still a little soft. Damn, this dude's riding my fucking ass. Come on, man. It ain't Saturday, shit. Um, so I still need to bleed the brakes one last time just to get all the air bubbles out. Um, so the pedal's a little soft. It's not too bad that brakes properly. It just, you kind of have to push on it a little harder than you normally would. So I need to bleed those. I need to get a rear alignment because I did put new toe arms in the back. Um, so I did mess with the suspension in the back. So I do need to put, I mean, I do need to get a rear alignment. And at the same time, I'm just gonna get a front alignment because I've been working on the car a lot. Uh, might as well just get a front alignment while I'm at it because I can't even remember the last time I had one. And I think there's a Hellcat behind me. I'll confirm in a second. You guys can't see that because the phone's blowing it out, but there's definitely a Charger Hellcat behind me. That's pretty sweet. I don't think you want none of this, boy. Um, so yeah, we are driving on the 15s right now. This tire is actually super soft, and uh, Joseph, our buddy, had told me, he's like, dude, these tires ride like a Cadillac when you're driving down the road. And I was like, no freaking way, man. But uh, yeah, these tires are actually super soft. They ride really smooth. So uh, yeah, no complaints here so far. Um, Obviously, I haven't got to test how they're gonna hook up. We're gonna wait for the track because uh, the roads will definitely tear them up and eat them up. <laughs> but uh, 
Uh, so yeah, I still need to bleed the brakes. I need to get a rear and front suspension alignment. And uh, I think then we'll be good to go. I'm still waiting on my last part so I can get the bumper back on, but I spoke with them today and uh, they're thinking it's actually gonna be here this week. They never sent me a shipping confirmation, but they did say that it should be here this week. So we'll see if it actually shows up, which would be awesome because I'd love to get the front bumper back on um, so that the car can be complete and we can get back to the track. Um, it's not like there's any test and tune going on anyways right now. This weekend we do have the Redemption Series, which if you don't know what that is, it's eighth mile, uh, no prep racing. And I thought about entering my car in it, but the class that I want to be in, I uh, don't have the right tire for. My tire puts me in the outlaw class, which I would get freaking smoked in. It would be embarrassing. Um, I belong in the true street class, but I don't have the right tire for that. So I think I'm going to order a set just in case there's races I want to go to where I'm going to need that tire. But for this weekend, I'm just not going to run it. I want to do some vlogging there. I don't know for sure because I think it'd be really cool. There's big names coming out. Uh, like Birdman, Boosted GT, Daddy Dave, all those guys, if you're familiar with um, the Redemption Series and Street Outlaws, those big names are going to be there. So pretty excited about that. Hopefully we actually go. Um, it's not too expensive. It's about like 35 a person, but I heard the lines last time they were here were insanely long, like two to three hour waits. So, and with me getting off work on Friday night, I don't know when I'll get there. It's Friday, Saturday. So hopefully I'll get some vlogging so you guys can see that uh, because that'll be really cool to watch, you know, a couple thousand horsepower cars go down the eighth mile at no prep with a no prep track, which is pretty crazy to me. Um, but yeah, so I'm not doing that this weekend and there's no test in tune because of that. So um, it'll probably be another couple weeks before I get the car on the track anyways. So it's not a huge rush. It's more of just, I want the car finished so I can, um, do some test hits in it and just drive it around really I miss driving it to work I used to drive it to work like once or twice a week or when it was nice out and uh, honestly I miss driving I love driving it right now it's just such a fun car even when you're not getting on it it's just a fun car to drive so we are like I said we're headed over to Jacobs right now and this is actually not a Hellcat behind me I don't know what the heck Kevin's doing He's making fun of me because I'm riding around with no bumper on because I'm waiting for my last part. But it's not a Hellcat behind me. It's actually a Scat Pack, but it looks really nice. I think it's purple, but yeah, it's definitely plum crazy purple. And it's got the racing stripes. So it looks really good. It's Charger Hellcat. Oh, there you go. You can see it. It looks good. It looks really good. So uh, I think it's a Scat Pack. But yeah, it looks good. Anyways, so we're headed over to Jacobs. I'll show you when we get there. Here's that scat pack, this shit's clean. Hey, give me a thumbs up, what a nice guy. Ooh, it's got the wicker bill, that looks good on that car, honestly. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the wicker bill on Challengers, but I really like them on Chargers, it's a super clean car. Gosh, I love a Plum Crazy Purple Charger, it looks so good. So, all right guys, so I just picked up the Brembo stickers uh, for the caliper so that Jacob could apply them. Um, we're gonna head over there. I didn't actually film when I dropped off the car at his house So uh, we're gonna go see when we drop off the stickers if he has an update So these are high temp Brembo stickers. I just ordered them off Amazon. They're cheap. They're like 10 or 12 bucks um, And they are a high temp vinyl So if you're looking for some and, or you need a replacement set, you can just get them on Amazon They don't need to be like official Brembo stickers. It's not a big deal. It's just a sticker So we're gonna head over there and we'll see if he has an update on the Hellcat brakes. Okay, so we're on the way to Jacobs Got a few other parts, got the correct lug nuts for the Race Star wheels. So, if you're tired of Race Star's bullshit ass lug nuts, these are the correct ones from Gorilla. So I get you the part number here. So it's 84147. They're 14 millimeter by one or yeah, by 1.5. Krager SST. Now you want to make sure these are the point seven one four, I think is what I had to order. There's two different center sizes. Shit, I'll put it in the link below. <laughs> um, also got new front brake pads, courtesy of Kevin. These won't work in the back for the wheel width, but they will work for the front. Hold down some of the brake dust, and these are the Brembo stickers we're dropping off to Jacob. And Kevin's- We're doing live. live. We're doing live. While I'm video. So you guys are just on, you guys are on YouTube. So shout out to the squad, you guys are on YouTube. Here they are in the prep stages. Definitely pads are wore down a little bit. 
Yeah, I Dude, was like, too many burnouts. No, nah, fuck the pads. I like, did. Those are getting down, and look how thin they are. I told you. That's what I'm saying. Damn. So these are Dave's stock. <clears throat> so let's prim those mess. This is the sneaky cat. All right, guys, so Hellcat is back in the garage. Here's the Brembos. I'll show you the other side so you can see them. The wheel's kind of blocking them, but they are gloss black. Look really good. They came out super nice. Let's see what the other side looks like. Let's see if the wheel's not blocking it as much. There you go. Yeah, it's still kind of blocking right where the Brembo sticker is. But I went with gloss black to match the back wheel woods. Looks super good in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think below, but I think it kind of adds to the little stealth look of the car. Don't mind how dirty the Hellcat is. Oh, and I added these. I wish the purple matched, but actually it looks kind of good, but um, I put these numbers on so that they stop riding on my car. At the racetrack, I just need to get the one for the front windshield that's gonna go right here. Should be coming in this week, but let me know what you guys think below. I'll show you the other side. Like I said, I wish the purple match, but they only do certain colors per rules and they have to have a certain background color to make it pop so that they can see it at the track. But I think it looks pretty badass. Must be nice. So that's what the Brembos look like. Lots of work going on here. So those are the Brembos. Let me know what you guys think below. Um, I really like the black. I think it gives it a nice subtle kind of sleeperish look, but uh, let me know what you guys think below. Make sure you always comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at bamv 39 and we'll see you guys on the next one.